Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Come on in to dinner. We get ready to cook dinner. Sunday dinner, y'all. Hope y'all having a God bless Sunday afternoon. I'm starting. This is going. This meal is going to actually literally take me a two and a half hours to cook, and I'm starting in real time from now to it is 20 minutes to two by four o'clock. I'm thinking this meal should be ready to put onto the table, so my children can stick their feet on the table and partake. So let's go ahead and tell you about what I'm getting ready to cook here. First of all, I've got some beef short ribs that I've uh, marinated yesterday. Sometimes yesterday I marinated them. And um, I'm gonna put them in my roasting pan here because I'm gonna cook them so they'll be falling off the bone um, tender. And they're gonna be in that, you know, this that cookware that cooks it a real, you know, just gets into the bone of the meat and goes ahead and cooks it uh, real well. And it cooks in less time, so I know for sure in two hours it will be ready. This is my Eurocast. I'm trying to get the lid there right. My Eurocast cookware. And I use this every once in a while when I want to tenderize meat. I don't know if that's a very good view. But anyway, the cookware, somebody always asks, this is Eurocast. This is the, looks like the cookware. I'm not going to drag that over now. I've got one that I've had on there for 40 odd years. I can't even think of the name anyway. Uh, it's 46 because that's Tansy Day that I purchased. So about three years ago. It was time for me to purchase some new, some real new cookware. So, and the price, I'm surprised the price wasn't all that much addition. I think the old set cost us, um, I want to say 1100 And this new set only cost me um, maybe 15 1600 So it wasn't that much different. So in 46 years, the price did not go there. Not the same company, but the, you know, the water of this cookware that cooks. Uh, from the inside out and tenderizes and all that. Still that same concept. It looks almost the same. I wish I could take that. <sighs> I'm not dragging that out. But anyway, one of these pans that I always use, this, this pan right here, this is a piece of that cookware. This is a piece of that old cookware. I can't even remember the name. Let's see. See? It's, this is a baking sheet. And I'm telling you, it's 46 years old. It looks 46, doesn't it? But it still cooks the same. I've got this piece left of it, and I got my big old roasting pan. And then I've got another warming tray piece uh, that's left to it. And that was another piece. But I, you know, I, I don't know what happened to it if we let somebody. Sometimes, you know, you let folk use your stuff and don't get it back. But anyway, let's get this show on the road. Hope you're having a God bless Sunday afternoon and that you got something good in mind to put on that table to share with family or friends or somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I want y'all to know I need prayer today. I have not done my taxes yet. And guess what else? When I was moving stuff around my house, I misplaced my tax folder. So y'all pray with and for me because I got to get those taxes. I got to find my folder and I got to do my taxes tonight, y'all, or ask for an extension, which I don't want to do. But we have to do what we have to do. So we're in prayer about my taxes. I know the Holy Spirit is going to reveal to me where they are. So there's a reason why I guess I haven't found them. That'll be revealed too. I always uh, am... Uh, and thought of this fact that when things like that happen, there's a reason why it happens. So, whatever it is, but I sure need to find those taxes. Uh, you know, all of my uh, W-2s and all my, you know, statements for this, that, and the thing and all that kind of stuff I need to find so I can file these taxes. So, <coughs> excuse me, something got in my throat. Anywho, we're going to go ahead and get these, um, these are beef back ribs. These are beef back ribs is what they're called. So we're going to go ahead and get them into the pan. Um, <coughs> I told you I felt like I'm coming down with some kind of little chest thing. I don't know what this is going on. Already, but whatever it is, I'm, wait, I'm ready for it to be gone. Anywho, I got about uh, maybe five pounds of these. these. These are the short, short rib ones. I'm just, what I'm doing is I'm going to put them, you know what else I'm, I'm not saying that I'm going to do. I'm going to put barbecue sauce on them and start cooking them with the barbecue sauce. 
Okay. This is the old fashioned way. This is where you used to cook that, uh, cook real. Just put them in the oven, put the barbecue sauce on them, and just cook them. Just cook them. So that's what I'm going to do. You know what? I'm not going to do that because you know why? I, what I just thought about? These um, ribs are going to have a, some fat come off of them. So I'm going to go ahead and cook them and then come back and drain them when they get about, about an hour and a half in. I'm going to drain. They'll be ready to drain by then. And then I'll come back. So I take all that back. Forget about me putting those ribs in. See how they got some fat? They're marbled real good. But I already know on beef, I found especially short ribs. When they are uh, marbled like this, oh, they, they render some oil. So we're going to get them all arranged in the pan. And then we're going to come back and we'll start on the chicken, get it going. Those are the two uh, the things that will take the longest to cook out. So just going to continue here. Okay, we've got all the ribs are in the pan now. So what I did, I've, I've got this little extra uh, chef's bottle of... Uh, olive oil that's empty so I mixed I made me a little mixture I'm not gonna put my heavy sauce on there right now but I am I made up me a bottle I put in this bottle sweet baby rays I had some Budweiser um barbecue sauce remember I showed y'all that Budweiser barbecue sauce that they had on sale it's good but it's strong honey I mean it's strong honey and I put the sweet baby rays in there and I mix me some honey in there and uh, some sugar because, honey, I'm here to tell you, that Budweiser uh, barbecue sauce, I could feel them Clydesdales walking up through there. That stuff was hot and strong. Strongest vinegar taste that I've tasted in a while. And I also, this barbecue sauce here is called George's. And I messed around and got the hot, so I couldn't put but a little bit of that in there. So, anyway, I mixed about four things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt it on my ribs, just some to get, you know, to get them started out. Not, not a, hmm, not going to squirt, is it? So, what I'll do, can't lick them, join them. I'm just going to sprinkle some of this mixture here. All over them, I'll cover them, and they, these going in the oven. And then when they get finished cooking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to come through here. I already know I'm gonna have to pour off the grease, but I want this to cook into the ribs. Okay, so they're gonna go into the oven, and we'll see y'all in about an hour or so. Hmm. Hot, y'all, hot. Okay, we're back, and it's time to start the chicken. We're doing curry chicken. Haven't done curry chicken for a few months here, so I think it's time to do. We can do some little, little bit of curry chicken here today. So what I gotta do, y'all know, we gotta get some olive oil in the pan because we're going to brown that chicken and make it look pretty before we actually make the curry. Okay, so. I have to make my own curry gravy today since I didn't double back to the store to purchase uh, some curry season uh, gravy. Curry gravy, you can actually buy it on the international section. Went right into Food Line, Food Line Carrier. But I forgot to go back through there. I was so busy looking for something else and I got sort of sidetracked. So what I want to start out with now, I got my chicken all bagged. And seasoned, I seasoned it uh, early yesterday for that curry and all my everything but the kitchen sink seasoning. Smells like curry to me. So all I want to do is simply get it into this hot oil and we're going to start browning it. Have that heat up as high as you can get it because we're not trying to cook it. We just want to get it nice and brown and seared. And then we're going to start putting it together in our, uh, and I'm going to cook it right here in the same pan, but it will go into the oven. We'll start putting these, and these are thighs by the way, I usually use chicken thighs for this particular dish. Chicken thighs. 
Nyt on iso taas, hyvä tavat saada. Sama on näin kiinni. Mä en vielä uusi tehdä. So as you can see, you're just going to rain them in the pan and um, no particular order or anything like that. But the other thing we try to do here is to get all of them in so that they can get browned up and we can get this curry or dish going. And then, of course, we're going to have rice to go along with curry. We've got to have a pot of rice for the curry. So we're going to have uh, the barbecue beef ribs, chicken curry with rice, green beans, and some corn. So listen, we're gonna let this cook. This is gonna take about 20 minutes to get all this done. And we'll be back to show you how we, you know, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna saute the veggies, get them into the pan and get this meal going. Okay, y'all, it's about time that you uh, take this chicken out. I've got it browned up pretty much as much as it needs to be. This is gonna be, um, it's gonna have a, a lot of deep, deep, thin gravy in it, but it's going to have somewhat of gravy in it on it, really. So we're going to go ahead and put it in this little pan here, and then I'm going to start, I'm going to get my veggies going, and we're going to get this uh, deal in the oven now, because it's got to cook for about a, almost two hours. And uh, we'll have a second of chicken. This is how I do my, this is one version of my curry chicken. Um, when my husband and I was stationed in Florida, there was this uh, restaurant that specialized in that curry chicken. Lord have mercy, Jesus knows that lady could cook some curry chicken. You know I mean? And she would have it out like it because she would have it cooked to the point. It wasn't so much gravy as it was the, 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 the chicken was coated. And you put that chicken on the top of that rice and it was over. It was over, y'all. It was over like rover. So that's what I always try to get. But I always know my family is a gravy-loving family. So I have a guilty gravy. Right and it's just, it's good with the gravy. I mean, it's good with gravy. Uh, okay, so here we got some fresh carrots, celery. Okay, we're going to get the carrots in there first. So you know, carrots are going to take a little bit longer. Well, they will. They'll have plenty of time to cook, but I'm just saying in terms of getting them sauteed up. Get them off. The garlic, this is garlic I got chopped. I put that garlic, I should have put it completely separate, but I didn't, so I just have to get it off of there. And I got some, I got celery, some of those confetti colored peppers as I call them. And I've got some onions I'm going to throw off in there. So I'm just going to saute these for about 10 to 12 minutes. Just to wilt them down just a little bit to pull that flavor to the top of the veggies. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to throw some onions on top. So I'm going to yeah, hold off on the onions for just a second. Get them all chopped up. And then uh, when I get this all done, I'm going to make a little gravy, y'all. And we're going to get this, uh, we're going to have to put the uh, meat back into the pan again. The meat, I mean, the chicken. And we do that to go with it. Uh, but the main thing, next, I love, y'all know I'm, I'm a veggie roast, so I'll have plenty of veggies in this pan. It's going to be a full pan, too. Very full pan. I didn't realize I had that much chicken, but I do. I think I got, um, Five pounds of chicken. I got 10 pounds of um, meat here today cooking for Sunday dinner. So, um, we'll hopefully, we'll have, I think we'll have enough space in the pan. If you want lots of veggies, because when you get ready to uh, garnish the rice, you want lots of flavor on top of that rice along with the meat. Okay? We have to do what we have to do when we're in the kitchen because you know, um, we still about the flavor train. I know Tanya and I both have been going through this eye situation. Isn't that something how both of us were going through at the same time pretty much? And we had two totally different situations that we ended up with almost sending the treatment. I'm still going through these cataracts and whatnot. And uh, of course, you know, she gave y'all the news that she got, uh, the things taken care of, 
through her our situation just since the past week. So we tell God thank you for that. That's what's real. I tell you what, that's my, like, like you said, if you're going to say my road dog, that's the person I travel with. And that's my girl. That's my, call me two or three times a day, daughter. And talk on the phone and we get together and laugh about stuff that most people wouldn't even think about. And, uh, you know, so she, she's always been the one that was traveling you know, around and uh, things like that. Now, Tansy is more, now, she, now both of them do the caregiving, but Tansy is more into, you know, caregiving. She gets around with the kids and help, you know, those kind of things like that. And so, you know, when she's out of pocket, that just puts her in a different, you know, space and time. You know, just to feel about, you know, what she's doing, what's going on with her. And I like for her to feel good about what she's doing, especially, you know, Tanya works hard. She does her YouTube and, you know, she does things with the family. And she likes to get out and about sometimes, even on her own. So, I'm saying I'll let you say this. Don't y'all forget her channel over there now. The Lady T Sensation, the Flavor Prince, she's still out there. And like me, she's not been uploading out as much as she was, that you all were accustomed to, but she's still out there, so please don't forget her. Tune in to her channel, listen to her, subscribe, tell somebody about her. We're trying to get her on up to 60,000 now. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Trying to get her up there. She is well worthy of it, y'all. Y'all know it. Y'all know what's up with that. So, we're going to let those saute. For a minute or two long, then I'm going to drop in my uh, peppers and onions and let them saute for a little bit. And then we're going to get the chicken mixed in there, do us a little slurry, and we're going to be on our way to some curry chicken. Good curry chicken. I'm tired. I'm going to go ahead and drop some of the onions in there. Right here, I think, in the middle. I think that'll work right there with the heat in the middle. All these nice veggies are going on with this nice chicken. This is going to be, y'all do know, this is going to be epic. F it. Mm. You know what? Uh, I'm when I'm thinking about cooking, I'm always thinking about um, enjoyment. This is the joy of cooking for me, y'all. I love to cook. I love to cook. I'm in my element when I'm in the kitchen, when I'm decorating, when I'm shopping, honey. I am in my element right now. I'm just going to add some of my everything to kiss your sink. Right on top of that, and then I got to add just a touch. This is my uh, especial. Let me let me go ahead and get my turmeric going in there too. Get my turmeric going. Um, um, um. Okay, this is my especial season. This is a mixture of cumin. Uh, Turmeric and curry powder. I can't add a whole lot of curry powder in there because when I got some hot, whoo, I still got some hot curry powder up here that I insist on using because it's the authentic one. My girl, who can't even think about it, y'all. So we're gonna move on from that, but I, I don't wanna get emotional. That that song. I get so emotional. And I don't want to do that. A little bit. We put a little bit of curry powder on there. It won't be too, too hot. Okay. So now we got all our seasons on to our veggies. And we're going to let them go ahead and saute and pull that flavor right on out. And we'll be back. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, too. I added a couple of tablespoons of truffle oil. To the mix, the white truffle oil, 
And then I'm gonna add some butter to the mix. About a half a stick of this butter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make it a little slurry for a little bit thickener in there. And we're gonna get the chicken going in there and we're gonna get everything into the oven now. We gotta get the show on the road and everything. We can mix everything now, like so. Okay. Okay, I just made a chef ex executive chef uh, decision. I want my gravy to be a little bit dry, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a, a traditional type roux. To, uh, so what I'm gonna do is what I've done. I put about a couple tablespoons of uh, flour. I'm sorry, uh, olive oil and a half stick of butter. And we're just going to go ahead and make this up like a regular roux for the gravy. Hope I got, a, got something on the burner, y'all. Smell it. I'm telling you, when you're in the kitchen, baby, you can smell one. It distinguishes one fragrance from the other. And you have to be able to do that to keep things flowing properly. So, what I have basically done here, y'all, brown that and get that seasoned up real good. Because I, I want my gravy to be more brown than I do any other color. So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get me some uh, chicken base in there. Some chicken base going in there. But we're going to keep this going. You know how we have to do the roux. And remember, this roux is very, very hot, so we have to be careful when we pour in the water. Keep it going, because we, we don't want it dark brown. We just want a pretty brown. Okay, we're going to get my first water ready. Start out with two cups, and we're going to see how thick this gets. Okay. I think I got it as dark as a little, little, little bit more, a little bit darker. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn the heat down, y'all. So this is gonna bubble. You just pour slowly so it don't play up on you. There we go. There we go. That's what I want to do right there. And I gotta figure out how thick this is gonna get. There we go. Now I'll put more. And now we're gonna start seasoning that gravy up. I'm gonna put me a tablespoon of uh chicken bouillon in there, the chicken bouillon. And of course, you know I got to do my everything but the kitchen sink, about a tablespoon of that in there. We're building flavor here, y'all. And this is because my family likes gray back. And I don't want to smother, smother that, uh, that curry. I don't necessarily want to smother it in, in the gravy. Okay. It's a little bit thick on me, so I got to get it thin out a little bit more. Thin it out just a little bit more, okay? Then you know I could have just left this and with I could have put just very but we like the gravy. Could have made it real real nice and thin. We like it gravy. It's like we want gravy on the mashed taters. Okay. That's wonderful. Then when I get all the veggies in, it's gonna be even wonderful. Look. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> We got to get a little bit of 
curry season in there. Traditional curry season is what I'm using. And that's so it's not so, uh, to keep it from being too uh, hot. Because, you know, the, the uh, curry, you know, Indian curry is spicy. So I got the non-spicy one. Okay. Okay. Get a little bit of my especial with the turmeric and the cumin. Go on there, man. And we're going to let it, you know, everything has to be able to stand on its own. So what I've done, <clears throat> I have put uh, the veggies in a single, in a separate, rather, location. So we'll be right back and we're going to mix it all together. Okay. I got my veggies here. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn the heat back up. I'm gonna add my veggies to that gravy. Like so. And you'll see me back and forth, back and forth with, with the uh so this is my this is this is just my version of how I want this to be. And I'm gonna put some I'm gonna drop some raisins off in there. We'll get that part going. Put a few raisins, not a lot, just a few raisins. And then we'll add the chicken and we'll be ready to go with put it in the oven. Okay. About a fourth of a cup of raisins, not too many. That's a lot of nice curry gravy. And this is because my family loves gravy, y'all. Now I'm gonna take some of this gravy out <coughs> before I put the chicken. In. So we won't use all this to cook it necessarily. But as you can see, I got plenty, plenty of gravy. Well, I'm gonna have to. I didn't mean. I you know what I meant not to do. I meant not to do. But it's okay. It's gonna work just fine. So you, I have as much gravy you want. My family loves gravy. But if you don't want this much gravy, or if you don't want your gravy thickened, then by all means, just leave it off. Leave out the cook. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken in. You know what? Because I'm trying to guide you all in the sense of um, you don't necessarily, if you don't like gravy, I mean, you have the thin gravy is what I'm trying to get at. But if, if your family loves gravy, then this is the way to go with it. So what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna sit, I'm sitting my chicken right on top of this gravy. And once it all gets in here, it's going, uh, the lid's going to go over it, and we're going to put it into a 375 degree oven for two hours. So when y'all see it again, it'll be ready to eat. Don't go nowhere. You can still catch up if you want to make some. It only takes about two and a half hours to make. Well, you have to add in your little prep time, maybe three hours, okay? We'll be back. Okay, that 
that curry is ready to go into the oven. I'm going to cover it and it's going right into the oven. It's going to cook for an hour and a half now because it's already cooked for 30 minutes. So we'll see you soon. Just pop it back in with y'all green beans. Just slice some onions in them. I have a stick of butter, uh, some seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, everything but the kitchen sink, a little black pepper, a uh, couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. This is a pound. And, no, two and a half pounds of green beans. I'm going to put the lid on and let them simmer there for about 30 minutes. And we're going to have good old green beans. And, of course, y'all know rice. We're just going to pop that rice in the pan and cook it according to the instructions. And I've got some leftover corn on the cob that I'm going to go ahead and cook that I already had. We're going to test and see how this leftover corn works. Y'all know me. We're going to use those leftovers because I had a ton of it left from one of the dishes that I did. So here we go, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, those ribs are ready for me to put the rest of that sauce. They're nice and golden brown. I'm going to pour that extra oil off of them, put the barbecue sauce on them, and let them rip. And when y'all see them again, they'll be a bit ready to sink your teeth into. So hang tight, and we'll be right back. Those good old oven-baked beef back ribs. Okay, y'all, finally, everything is ready. Dinner is served. There's the rice, uh, good old savory green beans. They're uh, gravied up. Um, curry chicken, those ribs on the back burner back there, those oven baked back ribs, and some good old sweet creamy corn on the cob. Y'all, we getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal, because you know what? I still got my taxes to do, y'all, so I'm not going to hang around here too much longer. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for your prayers, your well wishes, your comments, and your compliments. And remember, the special prayer for me today is that I find my folder with all my tax paperwork in it. So until I decide to cook again, love you guys. Get your taxes filed now, and please pray without ceasing unto the glory of God that everything is all right with everybody in our YouTube family and throughout the world because we are still praying for the world, y'all. Remember, do something kind for somebody, a word or deed or whatever. And most of all, do something kind for yourself so you're prepared to do for others. So, love you guys. Until next time I cook now, pray without ceasing. Cook yourself something good to eat. Love you. Toodles.